to the light heavyweight division. Mike Kyle taking on Clifford Starks. The tail of the tape, Kyle 35, 6'3", 206 pounds at a 79-inch reach. Clifford Starks, 34 years of age, 5'10", just over 204 pounds at weigh-in and a 78-inch reach. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the light heavyweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Mike Kyle going through final preparations. A young man out of San Jose, California, an American kickboxing academy. Set to go with a very impressive record. You look at this, 21, 12, 1 and 2, and 13 KOs, and three submissions, yep. boss. So you know Mike Kyle knows his way around the cage pretty well. Yeah, he. you know, when he fights, it's always a fight. Winning or losing, he's going to bring it. And he's going to do anything in his power to knock his opponent out and to stop him any way possible. And that's great to have a guy like that. It will push the opponent to fight as well. So both men inside the cage. We are set to go as we send it in to Jeff Securo. Here we go, fight fans. This fight is brought to you by Auto Shopper. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Light Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue corner. His record is impressive. 11 victories, two defeats. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, by way of Phoenix, Arizona. Introducing Clifford Big Cat Storks. He submitted opponents and he knocked them out. In this case, though, I would go for a submission. So you strike him to set up a takedown or push the opponent backwards and look for a clinch. This will take the power out of Kyle striking since it's very hard to strike and move backwards at the same time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, across the deck gone fighting out of the red corner. His record, 21 victories, 12 defeats, one draw, two no contests. He stands six feet, three inches tall. He weighs 206 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting Mike McCoyle. His opponent might look to get him to the ground. Short explosive combinations and in and out movement. So he doesn't plant his feet and it's harder to be taken down. Now, if it does go to the ground, get Clifford Starks in the guard ASAP. And your referee for this fight is Chris Tyone. And Ambley gets us started here in Las Vegas in the light heavyweight division. Mike Kyle and Clifford, Clifford. Starks. And there we go. Starks move nice to the side, not straight backwards. That's a very good sign. He's looking also for a counter. Let him miss. You better believe it, and he starts countering those if that happens again. Clifford Starks in the red, white, and black trunks. Mike Kyle in the all white trunks. Man, Starks felt out his distance instantly. I mean, very smart. Touch your leg, think it's a takedown, and come on top with a punch. He didn't do that yet, but he's inside the head now of Mike Kyle. Clifford Starks leads with the left and then launches the big overhand right. Man, Kyle's got a chin on him because that was a big punch. Nice left hook. Kyle needs to mix it up. Should do the same thing, go first to the body and then to the head. Boy, Mike Kyle is not an easy guy to take down at 6'3 and over 206 pounds. No, if you if you train with Gabe Velasquez. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle spins out and launches a knee in the midsection of Clifford Starks. And you look at Clifford Starks, kind of the way he holds his head kind of cocked to the right. 
He's, just, he's loading up the left or he's loading up the right. That's it. Oh, yeah. He can't. Take Connects with the right. Take a take down. This is going to pay for, though. Yep. Because Kyle has a lot of power here. He needs to get back up. He cannot let him strike. Clipper starts connected with the right, and as he was going for the single on Mike Kyle, kind of stumbled forward, and Kyle able to return the favor. Now he's got the dominant position. He needs to get that left hand free. But Starks knows that. He's holding on for dear life on that hand. Halfway through round number two one, this one's scheduled actually. for three. You know, Kyle should have put his knee on those hands. Nice scramble. Back to the feet they go, and that left connecting. This time, oh, Kyle was ready for it. Very nice. Beautifully timed takedown. Clifford Starks immediately goes to the close guard. Yeah, this is normally we don't something we don't see a lot from Kyle. Very smart. Hitting the body also very smart, especially with the power that he has. We don't know how Clifford Starks was in training. Was he full on in training or not? Because this is going to hurt him in the stamina department. Attacking the body. Mike Kyle just chopping away at the midsection of Clifford Starks. Looks like he's going for a guillotine. Watch his head. Watch his head. Well, they both have each other's and necks locked up. And, and they break. Back. Coming up on a minute to go here in Las Vegas. This is scheduled for three rounds. Mike Kyle and Clifford Starks. That was very nice there. Set it up with the jab. He can do it even with an uppercut. He would think an uppercut after a jab. Yeah, that's actually a really good defense. Oh, it's a little lower. Time! Time! Mike Tyone. Or excuse me, Chris Tyone. Notice he's some loose tape on the glove of Mike Kyle. Hey! Here we go. Yeah. Stuff can get stuck on that. Time in! Fight! I don't know. We're back in business. They should keep going with the jabs. But watch out for the counter. Takedown coming from Clifford Starks. Also very smart. Late in the round, this is going to play a factor in the judge's decision for round number one. We'll see the second round of light heavyweights when we return. He breath. He wants to take downs. He wants to lay on you. He's done. His arms are getting tired, Cliff. Deep breaths. Cliff, you can win. Cliff, hey, you can win this fight. You believe me? Yes, sir. We're moving, we're staying low, right? Yeah. Let him punch, punch when he punches. Hey. Don't, Don't sit in front of him, Cliff. Cliff, Don't just move your feet a little bit. Look, he doesn't even want to get off the fucking stool. Mike, 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 grab a towel. Back inside Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino, WSOF 22 as we get ready to start the second round of this light heavyweight bout between Mike Kyle and Clifford Starks. Second round, fight! Chris Tyone in charge of the action here. So boss, at the end of round number one, who'd you like in that one? It's gonna be a beautiful combination. For both fighters. It was very hard. It's a very hard one to judge because both landed big punches, both had takedowns. There's the counter. If I was Kyle, I would go back to that jab. That worked really well for him. This. No kidding, man. 
follow it up with a punch. Nice head movement there by Kyle. Let him miss, but you got a counter as well. Clifford Starks, usually a 185 fighter, has moved up to the 205. Seems to be adjusting pretty well, boss. How big of a difference is that? We're talking 20 pounds. Yeah, that's a big, uh, well, probably he's walking around now with 205. Right. Which uh, makes him a happy person because he can eat whatever he wants to eat. Oh, both with the right hand, both missed. You know that one big punch can do it. That's smart, that fakey punches. Mike Kyle's defense seems to be much sharper here in this second round as Clifford Starks not finding the success he had in round number one, especially with that big right overhand connecting multiple times. Yeah, he's waiting for a big shot. That was nice. He moved nice out of the way. A nice big overhand there. There we go again with the, with the jab, but you follow it up. You give him a double jab and a right overhand or a right uppercut or a right hook. Oh. Kick and a takedown. Yeah, he kind of gave that to him. Almost in slow motion coming from Mike Kyle. Clifford Stark sees the opportunity, grabs that signal, and gets Kyle onto his back for the first time in this fight. Well, let's see what he can do with it. He's cross face him, or not anymore. He doesn't need to break the grip. He's going to look for a guillotine as much now. From here. Stay like busy, guys. He needs to indeed stay busy. Otherwise, he's going to put him back on his feet. On their feet, and you know, he's got such a great position right now. He needs to pull that leg out. Pull the right leg out. I'm talking across. Hug, start. Start. And go for a long position. Oh, oh, oh. I thought Cole was going to try to reverse it. Mike Kyle trying to lock up the body of Clifford Starks, and Starks just alternates to the right hand. Watch back of the head, Mike. Mike needs to watch out with his left arm. And he doesn't give a side choke away. He's going good. Okay. This is good for Nice little scramble here, minute and a half to go. Stay busy, guys. Stay busy. Oh, he should have. Possible missed opportunity there. Now Clifford starts going back in. One minute to go in round two. This is the smartest thing to keep him with the close guard. Go right and out like this, and then you're going to get a stand up anyway for round number three. But you can't start hitting him. Hitting him back from the back. Stark is doing good. You should put a little bit more punch power in there. Stay busy, guys. Stay busy. Let's go. 20 seconds. There we go. 10 seconds. You want to drive right up and blast it? Final 10 seconds. Really 
slippery. Seconds out. It's done it about four or five times. Last round, Mike. Last round. Right over here, bud. Last round, bud. Okay? Right there. You're right. The California kid, Uriah Faber, UFC bantamweight fighter, also a WEC former champion Last taking round. in here the action go. here tonight Fight. in Las Vegas as we get to the third and final round between Mike Kyle in the white trunks and Clifford Starks. Boss, the all-important third and final round. How do you have this one so far? Oh, it's a hard one. It's a very hard one to judge. It goes back and forth. I would say Kyle because he's a little bit more the aggressor in the second round, but I think if it is something, it will be maybe one on one. Yep. Next to Uriah was also Lance Palmer, by the way, our champion. All half the male crew in the house tonight. Yes. of Clifford Starks during the break felt that Mike Kyle was done and they just needed their fire to happen and that's a good way to start. Yep. But then again, at the last minute round number two, he couldn't do anything with it. He needs to pass here. Kyle has great defense for the strikes. Looking like he's almost, nope. That's it. Never mind. Clifford Starks on a three-bout win streak. Took this fight on short notice after beating Jake Hewn at World Series of Fighting in 19. Young man out of Arizona doing a great job out of Arizona combat sports. Watch the fingers in the eyes. Watch the fingers in the eyes. Starks should push himself upwards, create a little bit more space so he can hit harder. You know, longer strikes develop more power. They have time and, and, and range to develop. This is too short. These punches are not going to do damage. Starks being trapped by Mike Kyle. Boy, Mike Kyle is committed to that closed guard, isn't he? Yeah. I don't see a finish here. Or, Halfway or through the round. round. Yeah, not, not, not one, maybe. Not from this position. Not from this position. You never know if a submission slips in, that's about it. Or an elbow makes a big cut, but like a real knockout. I don't see it, they're too close. That's better, he needs to do that more. Create a little space, drop a big elbow. Clifford Starks trying to get to the inside, Mike Kyle staying busy, just busy enough so that our official Chris Tyone does not stand him up. Yeah, but right now the round is going to go right to his opponent, so it's not a smart thing to do. Not for Kyle. Kyle needs to get back up. Very smart there from Starks pulling him away from the fence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that, He's posturing up and throwing down the punches. That's it. That's what he needed to do. Let's go. Let's Watch the control. Inside bicep control. Final 90 seconds. Well, it's a short burst of Clifford Starks. It looks like Boss is just keeping him from standing him up. That's the bigger one. Now he starts playing a little bit harder. Still, it's only arm strikes. Arm power. Looking for a Kimura here, Kylis. He's got to go fast. He's got 48 seconds. And he's got to keep that half guard really tight. He's got to pull it out. He's got to explode. He's got to push and pull. Mike Kyle looking to his corner, looking for direction. Clifford Starks right in front of his cornerman. 
Well, every bit of power that Kyle has right now, he needs to use. But I believe for a fighter, it's legal to grab your own pants in this position. Now he can't do it anymore. He can do it only to improve position. Final I'm ten. taking a straight arm bar if he knows. But that's it. He can roll him over. Starks know it. He's pushing, he slides backwards. Shifts his hip. We'll have the yep. official decision when we return to Las Vegas. Will it be Mike Kyle or Clifford Starks? We'll find out when we return. Back inside the Axis Theater at the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas at the end of a very entertaining bout between Mike Kyle and Clifford Starks. It goes the full three rounds in the light heavyweight division. For the official word, we check in now inside the cage with Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional fighting, we will go to the judges' scorecards. Judges Judichiro Kami Joe and Marcos Rosales score at 29-28, and Glenn Trowbridge scores at 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Clifford Big Cat Starks! So Clifford Starks gets the unanimous decision over Mike Kyle in a very difficult bout to score boss yes. saying so very close especially in that third and final round but it looked like those last two minutes boss really clifford starks took control of this thing that was the thing you know i i get one round to pop and whoever was going to win the last round could win this fight you know it's very hard to judge like you said but in the last round he got him to the ground and he just kept working you know and in the eyes of the judges you're going to get the victory and, and deserved it's a, it's a deserved victory yeah get ready What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 